Matai again this year. Thanks. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one. So I put together a list about 10 items that I will be happy to get for this holiday season. So let's check them out one by one. All these items I've tested and used and I can definitely recommend. Links will be in the description below if you wanna check them out. Most of those will be Amazon links. So let's go with number one, which is the Nightcore 2 V2. So this is the old Nightcore right here. So I've used this a lot and I showed it in a lot of my video reviews and I was so happy. So this is 45 lumens. So Nightcore came out and they made a brand new Nightcore 2. This is the V2 version, which is 55 lumens. And I love this little light because it's rechargeable by USB and it has actually two modes. It's got a low mode, which you can walk on like a sidewalk, and then you can bump it up to a high mode where you definitely can get inside of your door. So this thing retails right now for 10 bucks. So when I do the list, I'm gonna go from the lowest to the highest, all right? So this, like I said, this retails for 10 bucks. Check it out. I think it's definitely worth that $10. I've been carrying this older version for like two years now. So the newer version will get on my keychain and I'll rock it probably for two or three more years until they come out with the newer version. So that brings me to number two, which is the Power Aid Energy Cell 10,000 milliamp battery. So everybody's got a lot of electronics and I'm usually an anchor guy. So the power aid is actually five ounces while the anchor of the similar size battery is 6.5. So I'm really liking this one. Just that one ounce makes a hell of a difference. Plus, it's 19 bucks. So it's about $5 cheaper to the comparable anchor. And I've had these Power Aid batteries for a couple of years now, and I'm really liking it. That's my number two pick, the Tribit X Sound Go. This is an excellent little Bluetooth speaker for a good price. Right now, this is like 33 bucks. You can't beat it. Plus, on Amazon, they give you some extra couple of dollars off this speaker right here is a 12 watt speaker it has two six watt drivers in it and what's so excellent about this speaker that you can play it for 24 hours and actually the speaker is waterproof it has an IPX7 rating and it's just awesome you plug this in and you get the party started let's listen to some music and you can get a sense of how good this speaker really is Alright guys, that's enough of that, but this is an excellent little speaker. I gotta put on there the Steel Wheel Modus. This is an excellent knife. I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I've been so damn impressed with it. It's, it has a great feel to it, super sharp. I love the cutting, cutting blade. Closed, it, it measures 4.38 inches. The blade length on this is 3.25 inches. Very sharp, made out of D2 steel. I mean, what can you say about this knife? This is like the knife of the year for me right here. Great grab handle. It's got a lanyard hole in the back. Reversible pocket clip so you can do it on either side. Loving it. I love this knife. I really wish that more knife companies would look at what Steel Wheel is doing on these knives. Drop point design, perfect pocket clip. Man, it's hard to beat this knife. I actually had the cut jack at first, but I returned it and got the modus, and I'm so impressed with it. Inside of the handle right there, you get a little bit of coloring. It's a liner lock knife right here. That's the lock, and the flipper works perfect. Right here, the Steel Wheel modus. Can't beat it at all, love it. So you guys might remember a couple of months ago, I was kind of apprehensive about the Peak Designs Tech Pouch, 
but right here on my number five slot it's got to be this right here this is totally changed up the way i carry things in my backpack and back and forth to work the origami style inside of this organizer is so crucial so dope so i can find everything that i need as far as my electronics, pens, pencils, and it's just made out of some really high quality materials. Inside, I wish there was high vis lining, but there's not. There's actually some, you know, just some pockets, place for everything that you usually carry on a daily basis. I really like this. Now the price is kind of high for organizer, I still must admit, but at $60, but there's really only a couple of bags out there that can do what this does and I think this does it better. So my number five pick is the Peak Designs Tech Pouch. So number six is a kind of an older item. I'm not gonna suggest anything that I haven't used or hasn't been tried and true tested. So my number six item is a watch and I gotta go with the Sunto Core. And I know this watch has been out for a while, but when this watch first came out, I was like, man, I really want this watch, but I didn't wanna have to pay the $300 that this watch used to be. So now over time, this watch has come down and it's 119 so this is definitely a good pickup this watch can do altimeter barometer compass and a sunrise and sunset mode and i love the barometer feature on this watch because whenever a storm is about to approach i can put on that storm alarm and it gives me a nice little tone let me know hey grab your umbrella hey grab your jacket so this is my number six pick the sunto core Definitely a hot pick. This is such a cool watch. So if you're like me, you probably go through a lot of headphones, back and forth, trying to find your good sound, a good fit. So my number seven pick has got to be the Power Beats Pro right here. I've been using these for basically a year now, and I can say that they are tried and true, tested. They really haven't let me down, and I love the sound signature on these beats. Of course, when you talk about Pete's, they're going to be a little bit bass heavy, bass tune, more hip hop tune, R&B tune, but they're great workout headphones. You, you throw these on and you forget about the fact that you're killing yourself on your workout on the treadmill. <laughs> so these headphones actually last, they have a nine hour charge, so you can wear them for nine hours of continuous music play. And then the case itself has another 24 hours. So I even use these bad boys to edit videos so long sessions of video editing i'm not mad at all so you know you just take them out pop them in shit i grabbed the wrong one take this one out pop it in you know and it kind of hooks over your ear technical difficulties and so that's how it looks i think it looks pretty pretty dope you know it's very minimal and most people don't even really notice it they'll be talking to you my wife talks to me all the time I have these in and she'll be like George did you hear me and I'm like nah I'm listening to my music but so this is the, my number seven pick the power beats pro check them out they're 249 now we moving up you know we're on number seven so we moving up in price a little bit for 249 these is definitely dope so for my number eight pick it's got to be the canon sl2 this msrp is right now for 549 so this is like an entry level dslr but i think it's perfect for shooting youtube videos i pretty much shot all my YouTube videos on this camera right now. So this camera actually has been upgraded. They have the SL3 that's out, but I looked at the differences and there's really no need for me to upgrade. Um, I think that this does an awesome job. It's got a 24.2 APS-C sensor inside of it. So that's collecting the image. So that's the same sensor that's in like the Canon 80D. It's nine points of autofocus. It's got a three inch touchscreen on it. So if you wanna flip it around, it's got like this oscillating picture right here. So if you want to, you know, zoom up on an image, you can zoom or whatever, flip it around, do it vlog style like this flip the the screen around and hold it out kind of vlog style and you can talk to the camera you can attach 
a mic to this. Those Rode video micros are perfect for this camera. So I've been really happy with this camera. There's really no need to upgrade. 549 sounds like a lot for a camera, but that's kind of where you're at with these DSLRs. Like if you get into that Mark series, of the Canons, we're talking about thousands of dollars, so five is not that bad, even though it sounds like a lot. And I have a 24 millimeter Canon lens on this camera right now, and it's an EF lens, so that opens up the possibilities. You can use all the Canons, L-series glass on this camera, and it takes great shots. So this is like a budget or entry level camera. So what's recording this video right now is my number nine pick is the Samsung Galaxy Note. And so you can hear the audio quality and the picture that the Note can produce. So let's talk about that. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, awesome phone, great display. This is the 512 version, so 512 gigabytes of storage inside of it. Price is kind of expensive. Nah, it's, it's expensive. $1,200 gets you into the Note series right now. It comes with the S Pen. It's got the larger screen on it, 6.8 inch screen on this thing. In glass, fingerprint reader, three cameras on the back of this phone. It's got a 12 pixel wide angle lens, a 12 a uh, megapixel two times zoom lens and then a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. I've been enjoying this thing, taking pictures and video for the last couple of weeks since I got it. Dope, dope, dope. Gotta have tech right here. My favorite phone thus far out of the Samsung series. Check it out. Like, look at, look at Homer Simpson right here on the front of this phone. <laughs> look at Homer Simpson on the front of this phone. So, it's like, I, I can't even really describe the colors to you. It's so vivid. It's just a nice picture screen. One more thing I wanna show you on this phone while I got you is the actual live wallpaper, which I think is pretty, is pretty slick. So let me take off all my notifications real quick. And so I got my wife as my wallpaper, live wallpaper. So that's a video that we took in Belize on our trip and so, Samsung is pushing the, the 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 cell phone game to the to the max to the head to the to the peak to the apex where you at iPhone I don't know so my wife just got the we both got phones for Christmas she got the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I got this and she's like I got facial recognition and I'm like babe facial recognition been out for like three versions of the note. Come on, let's <laughs> let's get into 2020 together. So anyway, I'm not gonna be an uh, iPhone hater, but I'm definitely liking the Samsung. Check it out, 1200, put it on the payment plan, put it on the credit card. <laughs> you know, that's how you gotta work it out. So let's go to number 10. So my number 10 pick has gotta be my laptop. This is my buddy my compartner, my, you know, my compadre in this YouTube game out here. This is the Dell XPS 9570. This bad boy, it has an eighth generation Intel Core i7. I'm looking at my notes because I can't remember all this shit. So it's 16 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes of storage in here, 4K screen, and it's got, I got this D brand skin on it. You know, I like, you know, I thought the D-Brand skin was kind of a gimmick, but it's actually pretty nice to put on your items, you know, if you want to protect them. And I think it just makes this laptop just look a little bit better. But this is my number 10 pick. This bad boy comes in at, damn, let me check the price. I, I think this is like 1600 bucks, 1700 bucks. You might be able to find a deal out there, but this thing is awesome, especially if you're thinking about doing YouTube videos or anything like that. So if you're working on a Microsoft platform and you want something that's gonna be able to edit videos and do all the things that you need to do far as that and be just a powerhouse. I use this for work. I use it for checking emails, whatever, whatever. I think that this is an excellent laptop. 
so check it out like i said dell xps you can make i think they even this version actually comes with the touch screen as well i don't have the touch screen version i should have upgraded to that but i didn't have the two g's that that touch screen required so i got what i could get at the time and that was this one and i've been very happy with it okay guys that was my list like i said before links will be in description for everything on my list but just in summary of this video i don't want to sell you anything i just want to show you some dope items but what the holidays truly for me is all about is my family and spending time with them i mean i could throw all of this commercial presents away i just want to show you some of the things i have but you know the time with your family is what's most important that's from george define that's what defines me is the love i have for my three little kids my wife and my my dad and my sisters you guys have a nice holiday if i don't see you i appreciate all the support on the channel man merry christmas happy new year happy hanukkah whatever you celebrate just have a good one guys peace